Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Glenn Unboxes Things. As you can see, we have the PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, one of the many perks of my jobs is occasionally I get free stuff. Uh, so I'm not going to lie, I got this for free. Um, wasn't planning on getting a PS4 Pro. Truth be told, I don't play my PlayStation 4 as much as I do my Xbox One. Nonetheless, it is still a welcome addition to the house. Um, I'm kind of interested to get it open and actually get one finally in my hands. I've never actually held a PS4 Pro in my hands yet. Uh, I mean, it has only been out for a few days, mind you. It's, uh, they just came out last uh, Thursday. And it's uh, Monday night, just before midnight that we're doing this. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm kind of curious to see the size differential and so forth. Which, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you in this video because, again, I still don't have a proper setup for all this stuff. Um, maybe, I'm not even going to get this hooked up tonight or anything like that, unfortunately. Um, but maybe when I do uh, go to change the systems around and actually put the Pro up and so forth, maybe I will do a quick little video, a uh, little comparison video just as a separate side video. And uh, so we can see the sizes from the original PS4 to uh, the PS4 Pro because I still have my... Star Wars themed PS4 down there um, from the Battlefront bundle from uh, last year, two years ago, whatever it was now. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get right into this. And although my back is feeling a lot better than it was earlier today, if you saw my tweet when I tweeted this picture out, um, I still hurt. So bear with me. Uh, found a knife, which is nice because I have not pre-cut a tape today. So having a knife is probably a good thing. So just like most of the PS4's systems, uh, Sony likes to put it in a nice little sleeve here, and it's just a plain white box on the inside. So I'm going to slide this out and tuck this away for now. I actually have a use for this, so we'll just throw that down on the floor. The box I'm going to obviously keep here in the for storage and stuff like that, or if I ever have to. Actually, I don't want to ever move again, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. So, we open the top part up here, and we have our little booklet like we always have. Uh, open it up here. This is the actual console itself, which is a big out of my hands. Down there, put that down behind here for a second, and then I'm guessing this box has everything else in it. So again, put that down on the floor for now. So here we go. Actually, let's grab the accessories first. So we got our power cord. So first thing to note right off the bat. Uh, the power cord is back to the same style of power cord as what they had for the PS3 uh, the original PS3, like the big fat boys which I actually still have one of those it's actually upstairs in my son's room actually uh, that just fell out, that's the charge cable looks like it's still just as short as always uh, the cheap earbuds that they give you, but hey, Xbox stopped giving you a headset altogether, so we got our controller. Right off the bat, this feels bigger. The controller feels different for some reason. Maybe it's just because I don't play mine enough. Not sure. I actually can pull the controller over, and then of course our HDMI cable which hopefully is actually rated for 4K gaming, because then what's the point? <laughs> Not that I have a 4K TV. But this is the main attraction. Oh, there's more papers tucked inside there. That's weird. And there it is. The PS... Oop, there you go. Right side up. PS4 Pro. 
on the back we got our power cord, HDMI port, we got a USB port, we got our... Yeah. The one concern I know some people had was because um, the Slim does not have uh, an optical cable port, some people were concerned that uh, the Pro might not have one either. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it is right there. Right in between the Connect and or the Connect the PlayStation camera and USB connection. And then of course there's an ethernet port. And on the front, the disk drive is up here on in this first slot here. Right up here. Yay. Uh, and the USB ports are down on the bottom of this side over here. The eject and power button are kind of weird on this, to be honest. They almost seem like a flimsy uh, toggle system. You know, you push one way, push the other way. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, now, I always tell people when I sell them PS4s to always go through all the papers because PlayStation doesn't usually advertise it on the outside of the box. But sometimes there's free trials for PlayStation Plus. Um, sometimes there's a extra dollar voucher code, something. So we're going to see, we're going to flip this open and see if there's any codes. Uh, there is no codes printed on this anywhere. Uh, free trial for online multiplayer. Redeem free trial by visiting the PlayStation Store. Free trial is for new customers only, which I am not. Credit card details are required. Yeah, that happening. Um, one month of Spotify free trial, same thing. Uh, PlayStation Now free trial, same thing. So there's no actual codes um, because I guess now um, they're just throwing like, you know, the typical, oh, if you're a new subscriber. Um, I'm not currently a PlayStation Plus member, but I'm not a new subscriber either. This is usually just your basic setup books that they usually include. So I don't think there's going to be anything, uh, any codes or anything like that in here either. So yeah, there's your PS4 Pro, uh, safety guide, and PS4 Pro quick start. Easy for me to say. Quick start guide. And then for us French speaking people, um, so yeah, that's all that's in the box. Now, uh, where, there you go, sorry, PS4 controller. So, maybe it's, okay. I guess I'm mistaken, I, I thought it felt, looked and felt bigger, but I guess it's not. It is the same size. It is the same size. I don't know. Uh, the one difference is, of course, now these are the new controllers, so they have... Uh, I don't know if it's going to have any power if I turn that on. Oh, yeah, there we go. So it's got the light bar there. Uh, hang on, press it. And it's got one there as well. So there's two light bars. Um, as opposed to the traditional just one. Um, I've heard that the reason why they put that second light bar on the front was um, so that if you're playing PlayStation VR and you're using a controller and your camera's up here, up here, looking down, you can still see the glow on the front here because it may not be able to see that one based on how some people tend to sit and hold their controllers pointing in a downward direction. I know I do that myself personally. So um, that's it. Unfortunately, I can't really show you a whole lot else because, again, as I've said, until this whole entire room, see all this stuff behind me? Eh. This is all going to be gone eventually, and this couch is actually going to be pushed further back. Actually, the couch might actually be going to the other side of the room, to be completely honest. Um, I'm not sure how the whole setup's going to go, but there is going to be a change. And uh, once that is done, I will be able to start setting this room up better uh, so that I actually can start doing better videos and maybe even getting these things hooked up and do better comparison videos. Uh, but for now, that was it. I know it wasn't that exciting. 
There's already probably 50 billion of these videos on the internet anyways. But that is the PS4 Pro. I will hopefully be getting it hooked up by Wednesday if I'm lucky. Uh, and then maybe I'll uh, get some video showing... Maybe not a video, but I'll take some pictures or whatever showing the size difference between it and the thing. Just the eyeballing it, because the uh, regular PS4 uh, is actually almost right underneath where the camera is that's filming this right now. Um, just eyeballing it, I'd say they're almost the same size. I would say the Pro is about the same size as the original PS4. Um, give or take. It's definitely heavier, though. This is this is definitely heavier than the original PS4. So, anyways, um, that, I'm going to call that it. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you uh, next time I have something cool to unbox, which God knows when that's going to be. Christmas, maybe? I don't know. All right. Thanks, guys.